Hello, and welcome back to the studio. I'm Dr. Wiggo, and today I've got the new OWC Thunderbolt 5 hub. The first Thunderbolt 5 dock hub thing, you know, for connecting more stuff. As always, first I'll tell you why I bought it, although that will be a very short story, but if you don't even want to hear the little short story, then skip on to the next chapter where I will unbox this. And then if you don't want to see that, you can skip on to the chapter after that where we'll go down to the office and hook it up to my Mac Mini and try it out and plug stuff into it and see what happens. Most importantly, I want to see if the speed of my Thunderbolt 5 SSD is the same going through the hub as it is going straight into the Mac. It's also an OWC, so probably, because I bet they tested that. But we'll just double check, because that's what we do here. And then the chapter after that, I'll sum up and give you my review and whatever. So that's where we're going. So to start with, why did I buy this? Well, it didn't take me long, like maybe a week, before I ran out of Thunderbolt 5 ports on my Mac Mini. I only have the one Thunderbolt drive so far, also from OWC, and I'll link that video uh, maybe here, or down there, or both. But I'm going to get more. In fact, I have an enclosure on order, a Thunderbolt 5 enclosure for an NVMe drive, which will be coming up in a couple of weeks. As soon as it gets here, I think it's scheduled to show up about middle of January. So by the end of January, we'll have a video about a Thunderbolt 5 NVMe enclosure, and we'll see how fast that goes. And I will start running out of ports. So, not a problem now, because I have extra ports. So that's why I bought it. Let's open it up, see what's in here. As you can see on the box, it's got five ports. It's not five Thunderbolt 5 ports, as you'll see momentarily. Oh, it's also not the same size and shape, or anywhere near the size and shape of the Mac Mini, although we'll see how close it is when we get downstairs. It's aluminum chassis, but it's... Plastic on top and on the bottom, maybe? I can't tell. Oh, but there is a little peel. There's one on the bottom too. If I can figure out how to get it off. Shiny. Now the indicator lights, the indicator lights are on the bottom. There's the power indicator and the Thunderbolt indicator that there's stuff going through. And there's a power button on the side which will turn that light off and on. Wait, before we get to that, what else is in here? Ah, you can never have too many Thunderbolt 5 cables. It even has a little five right on it. It looks like it's about a meter, about a three foot meter long cable, Thunderbolt 5 cable, which will come in handy. Because one of the things you gotta do is you gotta make sure you have Thunderbolt 5 cables, which are rated for the 80 megabits per second, megabytes per second, you know the double speed over Thunderbolt 4. And then we have a power cable for the power brick. And you'll see why we need a power brick in just a minute. And that's what's in the box. Now let's get a better look at this baby. On the front, you have a USB 3.2, 10 gigabits per second port and a Thunderbolt 5 port. And then the logo OWC Thunderbolt 5 hub. And around on the back, we have a Kensington lock, the power input for our power cord that we just unpacked, the computer port for plugging in your Mac Mini or, or laptop, and it has the little picture there so you know that's the one for the laptop. And that's why we need the power brick, because it will charge a laptop. This is a 180 watt AC adapter. This is a nice touch. It says Thunderbolt 5 hub right on the thing. Have you ever had a bunch of power bricks and you don't know what goes to what? Well, I know where this one goes. So you plug your computer in there and then you have these two Thunderbolt 5 ports and you have another one around on the front plus the USB 3.2. Then on this side is the power button for turning it off and on. I'll just leave it on. And on the back, we have the serial number and all that kind of stuff. And then again, the indicator lights and little feats. And that's it. Not a lot to it. So what we're gonna do now is take this downstairs and plug it in and see how it goes. Through the magic of video, I will be down there right now. 
Snap my finger too soon. I'll be down there right now. Okay, so we're back at the office. I have the hub powered here. And I will now use the included Thunderbolt 5. It's got power. It's got some Thunderbolt thing connected to it. We don't have to worry about my cable management problem here because this won't fit under or over the Mac Mini because it's wider and narrower. So I'm gonna have to figure out a place to put it. And it's interfering. I discovered I had an old pair of Audio Technica headphones laying around, which I now use for the audio for the Mac Mini. So it's plugged into the plugged into the headphone jack up front here. So I've been using those. Well, first, let's do a little speed test. Select target drive. We want the OWC. So 5,000 megabytes per second writes and just about the same. 5147, 5128. There's the Envoy Ultra connected to the dock. Interesting. So it's very slightly slower going through the dock than it is direct into the Mac Mini, which kind of makes sense because there's a little extra overhead. It's got to pass through Mac Mini. It's disk to Mac Mini, and this is disk to dock, dock to Mac Mini. So there's an extra cable in there. I can understand. It's, it's what, it's 10% slower? I'll do the math and put it on the screen, but it was 5,100, now it's 4,400. But the reads are just a little bit like 300 megabytes per second slower. But it works as advertised. Once I figure out where to put it, I have access to USB and Thunderbolt 5 on the front. And then, of course, there's two Thunderbolt 5s on the back. Clearly, I'm going to be running my Envoy straight into the computer. And probably when I get the Thunderbolt 5 enclosure, which is coming in the next week or two, and the eight terabyte NVMe drive that I'm going to use in that enclosure just arrived. Like as I was walking into the office, I saw it sitting on the front porch and brought it in. So as soon as I get that enclosure, there will be another video where I will be testing the NVMe enclosure, the Thunderbolt 5, and a fan. It looks pretty cool. So come back for that one. Hey, you can even subscribe. That is the OWC Thunderbolt 5 hub. Works as advertised. We'll be testing it further when I get that enclosure because then I'll have two Thunderbolt 5 drives that I'll be running through the Mac Mini. I'll probably end up putting them both directly in. But then this hub will let me have expansion for down the road because I have lots of other SSDs, which we saw you know, in that video. Next time, it's going to be another camera. Yeah, I bought another camera. But that's just to tide us over until the Thunderbolt 5 NVMe enclosure arrives, which hopefully will be the video after next. Maybe the one after that. I have some other things I can do in the meanwhile. OWC Thunderbolt 5 Hub. Looks like a winner to me. It's only $189. So it's not expensive. And it works. It slows the drives down just a teeny bit with the overhead of going through the through the hub. I can live with it. So that's it for today. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time. Bye bye. Now I'm just going to go wait patiently for my Thunderbolt 5 NVMe enclosure to arrive. Thanks for staying to the end. Bye bye.